The opening few sentences of your essay are really important. They are your opportunity to hook the reader in, to make them want to read more, and to introduce them to your main ideas. Allow myself to introduce myself. There are lots of different ways that you can start an essay, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at three of them, and then a few things that you should also avoid. First time to look at is what we call the fact opener. It's a fact. You can really grab the reader's attention by starting off with a surprising statement, an unusual fact, or a startling statistic. For example, an essay on the uses of the internet might start with, more than three billion people are now regular internet users, yet 10% of households in the UK do not have any access at all. A really surprising statistic to hook people in. And do make sure though that you cite your sources to avoid plagiarism and to keep your credibility. You could also start with a quotation opener. To start with a quotation, you need to choose a quote that really packs a punch, relates clearly to the topic, and generally doesn't exceed two sentences. For an example, an essay about algorithms might start with, computers will talk to anyone, stated Sean Cubitt in a recent conference, but only the rich teach them to speak. This tells us much of what we need to know about the power of algorithms, and it hooks the reader in, telling them much of what the essay will be about. You will, of course, still need a thesis statement so that we know what your main idea is. You could also try starting with a definition opener. Definitions can be a really useful way of starting an essay, especially if you're writing about something controversial or that might not be commonly known about. You should be careful though. A dictionary definition doesn't normally work well for this. Instead, you should use a definition from an academic source that defines the terms in the way that you're going to use it in your essay. In this way, it might be similar to the quote opener. Be careful with this one though. Only use it if your essay requires it. There's no need to define common words. Yet where the main point of the essay revolves around a word that's ambiguous or controversial, then these openings are really helpful. Again, you will need a thesis statement so we know what your main idea is. There's also a few things you should avoid in the opening sentences of an essay. Don't write, this essay is about, or in this essay I will discuss. Instead, just get right into it, using one of the suggested openings we've just spoken about. Be careful not to write a brilliant introduction, but on the wrong topic. Now, that seems obvious, but we can get caught up in an, excite in an exciting opening and then realize it wasn't quite right. So make sure that you know what you're writing about before you start and keep it on topic. And don't use the same opening all the time. That gets really boring. Mix it up a little bit. Also, avoid using questions in your opener or actually anywhere in your essay. Your job in most essays is to answer questions, not to ask more. And finally, don't get yourself worked up over trying to use these openers. Trying to force one won't help at all. Instead, get the essay written and then come back to make your opening more exciting at the end. In this way, you'll already know what your essay is about and you'll be able to introduce it really well in a quality introduction. There's more on introductions and writing in my student study skills book available to download or buy from the University of Westminster Press.